Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to show you guys the Prover 40 or the Prover XL 4030 offline controller I got with my machine. Uh, it cost about $50. Uh, I thought it was pretty helpful. I didn't want to have to lug my laptop up here every time I wanted to use my CNC machine. So I thought this might be a, a good investment. It comes with a little SD card here, which has a micro SD card on the inside here too. So, you know, you can always load that up or use the regular SD card. Uh, this is a two gig micro SD, plenty of files space. And then it just pops in here right at the top. So plugs right into the controller box. This cord is kind of short. Uh, I want to try to maybe see if I can't extend this somehow. Uh, I know that I looked on Amazon, they have like a kind of like, they sell these in a pack of like five, but they're all like the same length, but you can buy like little adapters, but I'm cheap. It's probably gonna come out to like $20. I'm like, do I really want to spend $20 just so I can kind of extend this out? As you can see, but uh, I think it would be nice to kind of, well, you can't see it, but you know, have it higher up on the machine so I don't have to hold it because I'll, uh, <laughs> I drop this thing all the time and it pops out on the floor. But uh, luckily, it, you know, you just pop the cord back in and it works. But uh, if the machine was running, I don't, I don't know <laughs> if it would mess everything up or, or whatnot. So. Anyways, let me uh, cut this thing on. Hopefully the uh, the fan from the controller is not giving too much background, but I'll just run through this. So uh, when you first cut it on, uh, it's gonna have the alarm, and then uh, it's gonna say, I don't know if you guys can see that, my light's kind of bright. Um, it says locked alarm or jog. So you, so you hit setup here. Let's see, come on, set it. So I usually hit reset, get rid of that, that code there. And then I hit unlock motors and then it'll go to idle. Once there, now, now you can start to mess around with stuff. So usually whenever there's an issue where you hit your hard stops or anything like that, you'll have to come in here, hit reset and then unlock the motors. So from there you can, uh, you can jog the machine. So with this, you got the, you know, you move your, your X, Y, and Z axis, but uh, if you just click on it, it's not gonna do anything. Um, down here where it says close, you have to change this. So this is kind of like how much it'll move. So it's, you got a 0 0.5, a 0 0.1, a one, and a 10. So if I set it to 10, it's gonna move a lot. Let's see if you can hear it. I got my machine closed up right now and I'm at an angle where I can't really see what's going on inside, but see how here, I'm, sh I'm sure you can hear it, but uh, it's moving around and then that way you can uh, kind of set it where you need it to, or you got little small increments. It's like really, really, really small increments, a little bigger. And then that's a decent amount, maybe like a, you know, like a, 16th of an inch there and then I'd say that I would say that moves at about an inch and then the uh, the one probably about a 16th of an inch could be wrong you can hit uh, SPN that'll, that'll cut on your spindle if you want to like maybe drill something out be handy I have no idea what a PWM stands for uh, maybe it has something to do with the laser I don't know when I press it nothing happens so Anyways, once I see, you can see here, it also gives you like the readout of where the axes are and everything like that. So once you set it where you want it, you know, like if you put it at the center of your work, you can uh, come in here, hit return, and then you can sit, set your home. Um, if you want to use the Z probe, you can just uh, set X and Y or if, what I like to do is I just, you know, if you're using like the paper method, 
you can just uh, get it down there and then hit set X, Y, and Z, which will set them all. And that'll give you your, your home. So once the machine starts, it'll, it kind of raises up and then starts to spindle and then come back down. Sorry if that went out of focus from my hand moving around there. But uh, let me hit return. Oh, I should have hit setup. Hit setup. And then uh, if you want to use the probe, you can hit probe. You want to make sure that you have your probe set up before hitting probe because your, your Z axis is going to come down. And if there's no metal uh, plate there, it's going to keep trying to drive it. I learned that one the hard way. Um, but yeah, so make sure you have that hooked up before you hit the probe button. Um, you can set the probe. Um, if you have a set of calipers, come on. Um, once you get it out of the, it should be around 20. I have mine set to 20.2. Um, I haven't measured it yet, but I tested it and this one seems to, to do it for me. So I imagine that it's right there, but I gotta get a, a pair of calipers and set it. But you can just raise up the numbers there and then you just return it. Go back. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much if. Forgot to include this, but the, the home button, the top left button, uh, will home the machine all the way to, uh, you know, it's home position. The difference between setting your home, which is setting your home for your project. So they're both called home, but they're same, same, but different. For the home menu, and then if you go return, uh, you can go load files, your SD card, and then um, you'll hit your files, your G code, I'll just hit this and then as soon as I hit resume, it's going to start and then it'll go through. One thing I, I like about this is uh, it kind of has a percentage complete on it. So it'll say like 10, 20 or 30% complete. So it's a good way to, to monitor, you know, or estimate how much time you got left. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I found this thing pretty handy um, since I didn't want to bring up my laptop. So if you guys got any questions about this or you're thinking about getting it, just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.